Good afternoon, this is Barry from HEW Machine Repair, and today we're going to be adjusting the lead screw, the backlash in the X, Y axis lead screw nuts. To do this, you need four items. You need a flashlight, you need a very long screwdriver, you need a three quarter inch wrench, and you need a set of Allen wrenches. For the X axis, we will need the screwdriver and the flashlight. So let's get started on it. So, when you're looking at the machine, on the left hand side, shine your light in there, and you will see the two, there's two bolt heads. These are dirty, but they're both in there, a large one and a small one. Okay, what you're gonna do is, and let's just first, let me show you what our backlash is on this already. So right now, you can see, we got a pretty considerable amount of backlash. So what you do is use your flashlight, put it on your screwdriver, and you're just going to go in and get a hold of the small screw and just loosen it up about a quarter or a half a turn. At that point, you're going to find the thread of the larger screw, which this one's pretty loose anyway, and you're going to just kind of hold it in there and you're going to be turning it clockwise while you turn your your table just to see. Let's see. Now we have it down to about ten thousandths. Um, that's kind of in the middle. Maybe we'll go just a hair more. See what we got now. There we go. Okay. When you get it to where you're happy with it. Go in and then just tighten up the small screw again. Once it's tight, then you can try your your handle. And this one I now have went from about eighty thousandths to six thousandths. Now I could have gone tighter, but you have to understand this is a used machine. There's wear in this machine, so. See, that's a thousand times better. Now, we're going to go the Y axis, which is a little bit more difficult because we're going to remove the top half. But you can see right now, we've got approximately a hundred and fifteen thousand backlash in it right now. So, to correct this, same procedure once we get inside, but you're going to remove the handle. Sometimes they're tighter than others. Take the handle off. You'll take the dial holder, the lock nut, and the dial off in one piece, in theory. So you're just going to take this and you will slide this right off. There you go. Now, next step, we're going to take our end cap off. This. I will say if this is pinned, you may need a hammer to take the end cap off. This one's obviously not pinned. To pull this off, sometimes you just need to take a hammer and wrap it a couple times to get it to come free. We use the trusty cook dead love. Okay, now we're in the same situation we were on the on the x-axis. Shine your flashlight in there, and same procedure. I could loosen the small one, but there's no small one in here. So I'll be adding that at a later date. Okay. 
Okay, same. Now this, since there's no handle, you get it in there and you turn it a little bit and you're just turning your screw by hand. Um, to be honest, this machine's used. I'm gonna end up tearing this thing completely apart to fix it, but you would follow the exact same procedure. You take it apart. Now, once you get it tight, and you're gonna want this to wear, it's a pretty, you know, it's relatively stiff here, but you can turn it by hand. Once you get it into that position, you're going to reassemble everything and you're gonna check your backlash. Hope your goal for a brand new screw and nut is three to five thousandths. You have to take into account how much wear is in your screw. But if you can get it 10 or less, that's really what you're targeting. So if you get it done and you're still at 20 or 25, take it all apart again, readjust it a little bit more, and then once you get it where you like it, crank it all the way in and out, and you may need to loosen it a little bit more if you've got a lot of wear in your waist or you're wearing your screw. But basically that is it. That's how you adjust or adjust your lead screws on a Bridgeport Series 1 mill. Have a great day.